Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my permadeath playthrough of Fallout Dust, where today we are on the outskirts of Camp Gulf, about ready to go in and assault it and hopefully find some more delicious lore. And uh, hopefully not die, that would be good. Now you may notice, when I started the recording, there was a tiny bit of blood on my screen and also my HP is down a bit. That's because right when I loaded this save file, like immediately... A tunneler, whose body is now here, decided to come and attack me, and he came from all the way over there at that rock. How in the crap? I literally loaded the game, was hidden, and all of a sudden, danger, danger, and he ran from over there. What the hell? And also, hello, who are you? Well, you're not red and wanting to kill me. Let's actually loot you real quick. Cave fungus, that's what I was looking for. And let's see... Who this guy is and what he may have to offer you are a prospector and you have a lovely robot as well so let's uh -huh. see what do you have for sale my sure good thing. sir hopefully something fun oh I'll always take 12 gauge ammo 556 five, is always good we could get a cattle prod <laughs> I don't I don't know why we would but we could if we wanted uh, ooh, actual flamer fuel. Oh, I'm still really mad at myself for screwing that up. But okay, okay. We have a stim pack. We always need those. Anything. Ooh, actually, that was quite nice armor. If I didn't already have better armor, that would actually be quite nice. Look at those stats. That's pretty good. And weapon repair kit. I can always go for one of those. Do I have anything of equal value to sell to you? I actually think I'm finally going to sell the Dragoon Pistol. I've had it around for ages purely for sentimental sake. That and it's my only 9mm gun. At least... Wait, hold on. Is the homemade rifle... Uh, or makeshift rifle? No, that's 10mm. That's what I thought. So that's why I've been keeping it around. It's my only 9mm weapon. And also, for nostalgia's sake, it was really our first gun we used in the series. But yeah, I think it's about time we got rid of it. It's, it's not that great. And we discovered that on... Uh, on a Black Mountain. I keep wanting to say Black Rock Mountain because I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone in my free time. But no, just Black Mountain, Black Mountain. And yeah, where it took multiple shots to kill even a single unarmored scientist. So I'm sorry, Mr. Dragoon Pistol, but it is time for you to go. Anything else to sell to you? I'm kind of tempted to sell the nail gun, though he doesn't have enough money for it. I've been keeping it around because all you people keep telling me, Oh my god, it's amazing! But I really haven't had a good opportunity to use it yet. Then so we'll just keep it around for now. I don't have anything in there to sell. No. I could sell a crap load of bobby pins. <laughs> uh, no, I think that's it. So 133 is what we'll have to pay. Pleasure doing business with you. Ooh, nice. Got some XP. Beautiful. Alright, well that is all I need from you, sir. Good luck on your adventures. You appear to be going that way. Watch out for any potential NCR. Oh, which on that note, I've been told in the comments by people in the comment section, I don't know where I was going with that sentence, who said that it might be better to attack Camp Gulf from the lakeside, that there's fewer NCR there. I'm kind of tempted to do it, but I kind of enjoy how we've started sniping them from this direction. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I am intrigued to do that, and if we get pushed too close, and it seems like, holy crap, yeah, that's a lot, we may loop back around and attack from Lakeside. Which, actually, on that note, let's go take a little gander over there. See if there is... Well, there's a fire. Ooh, I see people. Hello! Why are you standing waist-deep in water? Well, now you're head-deep in water. Or neck deep, or, nah. well, he don't longer really have a neck anymore. Oh, well. Cautioned. There we go. And, boop. Oh, he moved right as I went to take the shot. There we go. Beautiful. Critical strike. And, of course, I continue to slip. Did I loot you? I did. Okay. So, lakeside, there are... Potentially fewer. I see you sitting there. I'm kind of intrigued to shoot him, but I doubt we'll hit him from this freaking far. 128 meters. Nah, it's probably not going to work out for us. Let's check the ridge line over here, though. Any. There's our prospector friend. Hmm. 
Oh god, now I'm really tempted to go lakeside. But I don't know, I don't know. I mean, we don't really seem to have too many people out this way. I mean, I have killed quite a few. See two more over that direction. Those guys I've all shot up, and I need to go loot their bodies. Let's take you out. Boom. God, I love this hunting rifle. Thank you to you beautiful commenters for suggesting that I keep this and use it more often than my sniper rifle. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Glorious. It's so steady and such a deadly, deadly weapon. Alright, it's actually getting dark out now. Let's uh, turn on our night vision a bit. And actually push forward. We've got all these bodies over here from the towers that we uh, shot up that we could loot. I'm pretty sure I looted this guy. Yes. Yeah, I didn't loot him or all of those over there because uh, they were too far out and we kind of just shot them up at the end of the episode. Anything up here? No. Our prospector friend really hasn't made it very far. Though with those weapons that he's got, he'll make it far in life. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, well let's first take more of a peek around. So we got some tents. More people. So two, and there's a third over there sitting. Oh, I don't like actually having to crest this hill to go after them, so perhaps we may go lakeside. Oh yeah, golf tee. Actually, not the golf tee, that is the, uh, the hole. Oh, another marksman carbine. <laughs> oh my god, so many people were mad about me selling that ages ago. Actually, not ages ago, it was like two, uh, two or three episodes ago, but nonetheless, nonetheless. We have another one now. Ooh, you had a grenade launcher. Oh, music's changing. That always worries me. Great bear grenade launcher. Lots of five, five, six rounds we're picking up. And I don't want your service rifle. So we got another post up there. I see you. Probably too far to shoot, though. What I'm worried about if there's any people on this road that I'm just not seeing. And any potential people up there. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Let's actually do some repairs, because I did just pick up another Great Bear grenade rifle. Which may see some use out here. I mean, we've got a lot of people to kill. And we may need it at some point. Marksman rifle. Could I do anything with you? No. Oh, that's makeshift rifle. Ha! <laughs> makeshift carbine, or as people keep pointing out to me, carbine. I always thought it was carbine. That's what I've always heard my whole life, but okay, carbine. I'll go with it. That is a nice gun. Such a nice gun. Ah, oh, God. But I, I, I like using the older weaponry. <laughs> uh, just wait till the next series once this character dies. I plan on going all energy weapons. That should be very difficult considering we don't find many of them. Ooh, taken down. Cautioned. I'm actually going to back up a bit with that caution. Because someone could come around from another corner. Uh, hello! I see you! That didn't kill you! <laughs> huh. Actually, how did that not kill him? My crosshairs were right on top of him. Was it, like, too close to the ground? Did it, like, get hit there? Oh, oh, he's... There we go. He's down. <laughs> oh, I love this rifle. I never really used this rifle much when I used to play vanilla. I always just stuck with the standard sniper rifle. Now I understand why people always told me to use this. It's quite nice. Oh, God, yeah. This hill. This hill worries me because, like, right when I crest it, I don't know how many people are beyond that. I mean, I see him. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and... How did that not alert people? Ooh. There we go. Oh my god, yes! Three down! 
Oh, that's a lot of people. <laughs> there goes another. Okay. I am slaughtering them from afar. Oh, there we go. And we're hitting again. I think we killed them all. <laughs> all right. Well. Awesome. Let's actually switch to the normal ammo. I forgot to do that earlier. Not that it's really made much of a difference. We have just been annihilating these guys. I'm still worried about the crest of this hill, though. But I think I killed enough of them that it's not going to be really an issue. Oh, yeah. Also, these guys' bodies. Probably be good to loot them, too. Oh, God. It moved and it scared the crap out of me. It was coming to the surface because we finally got close to them, which means physics. Oh, is this water not radioactive? I could have sworn it was. Huh. All right. Ooh, 308 rounds. Beautiful. That's what we're using. Officer's hat. Nice. Oh, dog tags. I don't know why I'm collecting these dog tags. I haven't really found any place to sell them. 20 millimeter grenade. Oh, man. All these guys have great bear grenade launchers. All right. Let's fix that up a bit more. Is that something under the water there? That's something, all right. I can't remember if it's a thing, though. Nope. All right, well, back to the water. Or out of the water, rather. Okay, okay. That was a loud splash. All right, checking around everywhere. Oh! I see you guys. Just two. Boom! Well, he's alerted. And... There we go. Yeah, these NCR guys, they, uh... <laughs> they aren't, aren't posing much of an issue. Though I've been told that inside the building there are many many of them so that might be more of an issue because we can't snipe from afar with those guys oh god now I'm gonna be paranoid though because we're close quarters with a you know encampment five five six beautiful grenades a grenade rifle that I don't need I've got the great bear one Ooh. Camp Golf, it's been discovered. Oh god, do I want to go into these places? Not yet, yet not yet. Let's let's focus on the exterior. And all the people we've murdered. Because you people are obviously involved in all of this. I mean <laughs> You're the ones who kept telling me to come here. Oh, another Bozar. Alright. Well, what the hell? I'll pick it up. Man, I really did annihilate these guys. Future weapons today! Oh, I saw that red up there a moment ago. Hello! And... There we go! Danger! Alright, back up, back up, back up. Oh, that's a lot of bullets! Hello! Who the crap are you? Why is there a random person in the camp? Oh god! Okay! Boom! And oh god, oh, 75 health. <laughs> um, where am I going? Yes, aid. Let's uh, put a stim pack in there. And that should be good. Oh god, that's 37%. We're not going to get him with that. There we go. Oh boy, we are almost dead. <laughs> We're hidden though. We're hidden. We're good. We're good. We're good. 
Ah, uh, I tried to cue him. I should have just gone straight for the shot. Because I knew that since I backed up, I wasn't going to get the good shot on him. Like I did the previous guy. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have even tried the cue. Alright, though. We survived. And shall live to fight another day. <laughs> At least for now. Alright, that was almost the end of us there, which is... Oh, boy. Though, who, seriously, who was that one person just walking through the camp? They didn't mark as being hostile. So, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm always alright when someone's not wanting to kill me. Oh! Lighting changed! <laughs> oh, God. What is it with dust and constantly changing the lighting on me? Hmm... Oh, I see you. Crap. Caution. And... There we go. Oh, person up there. Hello. Now he's not. Oh, we're cautioned now, though. Let's check over on this side of the tents. Nah, yeah, it's just people up there all scurrying about, worried. Hmm. Alright, let's go loot these bodies over here. Oh, hey, there was that person that ran through the camp. You must be a prospector or something. That's probably why no one wanted to kill you. Oh, hello. And... That missed. And he's now cautioned. Don't know what he's going to do about it, though. He's probably going to stay up there on his little ledge. Oh, yeah, we're hidden again. Maybe I can get a better shot on him over here. Yes, much better shot. Though, since the color changed again, it's actually kind of hard to see my crosshair. But, oh, he's dead. Oh, he had a nice gun. Beautiful. Beautiful. We have killed many NCR this day. And it was good. Hello, are you... Oh, hey, another group of... Man! There are all sorts of people around here. Oh, there's that prospector again. He's still wandering around, huh? Yeah, there's another... It looks like a caravan guy coming through. Cool. Oh, another Bozar. <laughs> Ranger, gray hat. Alright, this guy's body's down here. Oh, well, so let's give a quick check. Yeah, I think we're good. It's a 5mm round. An assault carbine. Eh. Oh no, the caravan guy's going way over there. Oh. Oh well. Let's press forward. Actually, I kind of want to check these tents now. Now that I'm pretty confident that we've cleared out the uh, exterior. Hmm. Yeah, let's check the tents out. There might be good stuff. So let's switch. What gun do I want to use? I'm thinking makeshift assault rifle. Yeah. We've picked up a crap load of 5.56 ammo. Oh, yeah, we have, have that, uh, two of those Bozars. We can fix those up. Slightly nicer now. Oh, I did pick up an assault carbine earlier. Interesting. We could always use this to clear out the buildings. Was it, yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think this would end badly, would it? You know, doing this inside. <laughs> oh, that would truly be the death of us. Yeah, let's stick with the uh, makeshift assault rifle. And let's check out this place first, because of course, hopefully medicine. And Q Q Doc Sawbones. He's not actually interested in hurting me. 
Hello? Half dozen troopers in shouting distance. Best remember that before you try anything. Well, there there aren't any more. <laughs> I I have killed them all. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, he can cure my addiction. Ooh. We might do that. Let's check out his supplies first, though. So what he has on offer. Oh. Oh. Maybe you are and maybe you aren't, but I don't give my help to anyone okay. in CR. Maybe you can find a raider medic to fix you up. So I'm going to kill you now, right? Sir. Well, goodbye. I'm going to steal your shit then. <laughs> Ooh, I can actually sleep in these beds. Oh, it actually doesn't seem like any... Oh, yep. Doctor's bag. I'm sorry, but we're going to steal this, and if, if you get all uppity about it, we're just going to kill you. Oh, yeah, morphine. I am addicted to that. That'd probably be good to have. Blood pack? No, no, I don't need that. That seems to be all he has that's of use. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Does it? I'm going to leave you alive. I don't know why. Oh, screw it. You're never going to help me anyways. Why am I going into vats to do this? Bye! <laughs> what do you have on you? I already have one of those. Alright, let's take those. Oh, really? You didn't have, like, stim packs, etc. on you? What a waste. What a waste. That's why I killed him. I wanted his medical supplies. Ah, well. What are you gonna do? What do we have on normal? Ooh, actually, a fair few. Let's switch to those, then. Go back to our sneaky ways. And check out these other tents. I'm highly disappointed in that. I was hoping he'd have medical supplies on his body. You'd think he would. He's a doctor, after all. Alright, let's go into this tent. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Oh, well, there's only three. Let's kill you first. Then you. Then you. Critical strike, that's always good. And... <laughs> well, that went quite easily. Nice. Nice. So that's 556. Five, Experimental Rad X. Ah, the light machine gun. Eh, no, I don't want it. We had one of those earlier in the game, and it was just uh oh, so heavy and it it uh yeah. We we got rid of it ages ago. Oh god. Now I'll take it so we can sell later. Lad's life. Ooh, computer. Oh, it's a broken terminal though. Huh. Yeah, not found. Okay. What'd you do, soldier? Break in your computer. Programmer's Digest. 22 millimeter rounds. Okay, okay. Alright, we don't need to be sneaking in here anymore. We have killed everyone. That went very well with the murdering as well. That's, 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 a, that's a very nice thing. Uh, financial clipboard. No, I'm looking for any potential lore here. Uh, ooh. Nah, it's all scrap metal. Metal boxes, though. Got that. Ooh, ammo. Alright. We'll take those. I don't need coffee mugs. Oh, man. Look at all this beautiful ammo. Oh, nothing in that one. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. We've murdered them all. I'm sad that nothing's on that computer. I was hoping maybe we'd get some more lore there. So I guess to the next building. Oh, God. Am I going to have to check all of these? Oh! There's a danger. Oh, balls. That took down a lot of damage. All right. Let's go to that. Where was he? I didn't even see where he was shooting from. 
Oh. There we go. Now he's dead. Really? He did that much damage with a 10 millimeter gun? Pistol? Wow, he must have gotten a good shot on me. Well, I took all of his ammo. All right, let's reload that. And into the tent. Hmm, oh god, I actually just looked over at my uh, timer. It is uh, 25 minutes, so actually I think we may stop here in this particular tent. Yeah, I can sleep in one of these, so I will just take a rest. And then we'll be good to go for the next episode. I'm debating whether or not I'll loot the rest of these tents in the interim. If you guys want to see me continue looting the rest of these, say so in the comments. I'll see them before I record the next one. Uh, if not, we'll just move on to the main building and I will go and loot these things myself. But yeah, today, good episode. We killed a lot of NCR. Almost died a few times, but you know what? We made it through quite well. Got a lot of ammo. And, uh, yeah, good times. Good times indeed. So I do hope you have enjoyed today's episode, and of course that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one. I'm going to go take a nap. I don't think my character slept in quite a while, so it's probably well-deserved at this point. Later, folks!